was the politicization of mask wearing by the president of the United States. Absolutely. And, you know, I think what, one of the, our big targets for Yasmin and I was to look at the inflection points in the response, the moments when things could have gone one way, but they went another way. And there's this really dramatic scene in the Situation Room in March when they finally agreed, yes, you know, masks can help. And so they had these U.S. Um, underwear making companies produce 600 million masks that they were going to send two masks to every American through the United States Postal Service. And so they had these, you know, uh, masks made and Secretary Azar in the Situation Room tried them on to kind of model them for the group. And, you know, there's this kind of, you know, frat boy humor. Oh, it looks like a jock strap on your face. Oh, it looks like a training bra on your face. And so they scuttled the masks and the masks were never sent. Imagine, Mike, if they had sent masks to every American, two masks, and it was normalized and the president had modeled it and there was no division, it wasn't political at all. Imagine how the response could have been different. But they didn't, you know, the mask got shelved. It turned, as you met, as you said, it turned into this huge wedge issue where either you were with the president and didn't wear masks or you wore masks and you were against the president. And, you know, the consequences of that were catastrophic. And still to this day, you know, one of the worst legacies of this virus is how divided the country is and how so many people don't trust scientists. They don't trust what they believe. And we're still seeing, you know, a lot of issues, you know, with the turmoil and the, you know, the near civil war we had earlier this year. And it was all fed by this split last year that I think started with the masks. So, Yasmin, given all of that and, and given the political divisions that have erupted in the wake, I mean, they, they were always there, but were exacerbated by the pandemic and became focused on public health. I mean, every expert you talk to says there's going to be another pandemic. We're going to face.